Hey guys, it's your girl Sofina. Sofina back here again. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so obviously we are still in the gym. So on this video, we are going to be doing beam. The lovely beam. I love beam. Do you love beam? Because I love beam, so you should love beam. I'm kidding. You can love whichever event you like. So my thought process is to do some beam warm up on the line, you know, bust out some big skills, then maybe do some things on the low beam. Most likely I will not do too much on the high beam, but maybe I'll do like a mini routine like how I did in the last video for bars. So that's my thought process. Let's do it. Let's go guys. Okay guys, so first of all, before I get on the beam, look at this pink beam. I have never seen a pink beam in my life. If you feel it, it feels so cool and like really like soft as well. But without, without you know, going on a rampage with something else, let's go to the beam and let's see what I can do on the beam. I'm a bit nervous because those side arrows on the floor were not the best and that's literally what I was banking on with the beam situation. But without further ado, let's, let's get on uh, the beam. So, shall we try the front arrow? I'm nervous about that too. Okay. <laughs> I gotta psych, like, you know, hide myself up before I go. All right. Okay, I'm gonna get some chalk on my feet. Come on, come on. So I don't slip, okay? Okay, we got chalk on the beam. I think I'm gonna use the pad so that if something goes wrong, I'm okay. Right? Oh, I'm nervous! Oh, I don't think I could do it. <laughs> Oh. Okay, let's let's do another one on the floor just so I can feel better about it. Guys. <laughs> oh no. Okay, let's just chuck it. If all goes wrong, all goes wrong. Okay. Okay, all right, first one was out the way. I feel good now. Now it's time to really get it. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's see if I can stick one more. One more, guys. I'll be so happy. All right, not what I expected, not what I hoped. One more. Oh yeah. Go Sophina, go Sophina, it's your birthday, it's... Okay, now I'm following on dancing. Okay, we're good.
All right, so now we are back on the beam. I'm gonna do the front toss here. Hopefully I don't crash with this skill specifically. You have to use a little bit more power than you think. So it's very different than front aerial, side aerial. Those ones is more flowy. This one is more power. And you land with two feet, so it's like really painful in a way. So, anywho, um, wish me luck. I mean, it wasn't the prettiest, but let's, let's, I stayed on the beat and I'm happy. Be happy for the smallest victories. Oh. All right, one more time. All right, guys, so now that I'm done on the medium, low, whatever you want to call it, I guess that's medium, this is low beam. So I feel like I did most of the skills, which is great. And um, should I do back tucks? No, I'm not doing back tucks this time. So now we're going to go to the high beam and we're going to do medium routines. Okay, let's go. Okay, so now we're on the high beam. And I, you know, it's crazy because every like high beam is quite different. I feel like competition beams were a little bit higher. Actually, I don't even know anymore. I've been out of the woodworks for so long. Anyway, so with this little routine, I'm gonna kind of try and make it a bit similar to my routine back in the day. We're gonna start on here. We're gonna do like back handspring. Actually, why tell you when I can just show you? Are you ready? I'm gonna act like you guys are the judge. If I fall, I'm starting over. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay, so that routine was not perfect. And now that I'm like on the beam feeling it out, what's gonna happen, I'm not doing switch leaps. For some reason, those are really hurting my hamstrings today. Like it's just a no-go for switch leaps. So we're gonna do the mount, little dance, back handspring, a turn, turn around, do another turn, cause there's so many different turns. And then like another turn, some jumps, and then dismount. Does that sound good? And then after that, I'm gonna do some of my actual real dismounts that I've competed in college into the foam pit. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm really proud of that little mini routine. I think it was beautiful. Oh, it was beautiful. I mean, what do you think, guys? I don't know if you can be the critic of that. So now that I'm done with the mini routine, I'm gonna come up here on the beam, and I'm gonna do some of my dismounts that I competed in college, like I said I was going to. We'll probably just do a couple, see how it is. I don't know if I've done it since competition, honestly. 
but it's pretty much like how I did on my routine where it was like a gainer front, but it was a gainer front full. And I used to do them off the side of the beam and then I end up going off the end of the beam. So anyway, let's go. Alright guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Obviously nothing too crazy, but you know, I'm pretty proud of myself. Did obviously a lot on the floor, a little stuff on the beam here and there, and a mini routine on beam, which is always so fun. Making up my own choreo that probably doesn't look the best, but you know, I did my own little psh, psh, pat on the back. Good job, Sophina. Make sure you comment below what your favorite part of this video is. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, turn on your post notifications, and follow me on Instagram at Sophina the Diva. On Twitter, Sophina underscore De Jesus. TikTok, Sophina the Diva as well. I'll see you guys later. Roll out.